I set my alarm for 6am. I've trained my body to wake up at 5.59 to turn off the alarm. I get up, make my bed and continue out into the kitchen. This is where the carefully orchestrated ballet of my breakfast making ensues. I start by putting the pan on the stove. Then I take an orange, eggs and butter from the fridge. I leave the fridge open while I quickly add some butter to the pan. Now I can put the butter back and close the fridge. I crack six eggs into a glass and then turn on the pan to full heat. While the pan heats up, I have exactly 40 seconds to slice the orange into four perfectly equal parts and clean the blade before the butter burns. Then it is time to add the eggs to the pan. While the eggs cook, I remove the peel from the orange and place the slices carefully into a bowl. Upon placing the last slice into the bowl, I then reach up and grab another bowl. I place it on the scale and add exactly 70 grams of oats. While walking back with the oats, I turn on the water to full heat in order to give it time to heat up. After placing the oats back, I get the cinnamon, cardamom and a spoon on the way back. After adding the spices, I mix it and then add exactly three and a half deciliters of hot water. 125 seconds have now passed since adding the eggs to the pan. It's time to flip the eggs. I now take the oranges and the oats and place them on the table and exchange them for a bottle. I fill up the bottle with cold water. The eggs are now done. I remove them from the pan and place them onto a plate and then take it all to the table. 514 seconds, a new personal best. Breakfast is now completed. All right, so uh, that was a joke. My mornings don't really look like that. And uh, well, actually they kind of do look like that in a way. Um, anyway, I realized when I was making this video that my obsession with optimizing my time may sound a bit insane and it probably is a bit insane uh, especially when you see how I plan my week. So in this video I wanted to show you how I plan my week in order to kind of optimize my output or what I get done. Usually I lay out the plan for my week on Sundays and uh, here's how I do it. The way that I plan my week is by blocking out time for different tasks and I usually use two hour blocks because I found that after about two hours of really focused work I tend to get less productive. So that's kind of the first rule that I try to stick to when I plan my week and that is to stick to two hour blocks of time. I do have an exception to this rule which I'll share with you in just a minute. And the second rule that I have is to try not to plan anything for after 12 p.m. Although I rarely stick to this rule but my ambition is to not have to work after 12 p.m. because I've found that my again my productivity kind of decreases after 12 p.m. And kind of the third and final rule is to try to plan a week that I would like to have. And I forget who said this because I didn't come up with this myself. But I think it's very easy to forget, or at least for me it's really easy to forget. Because I tend to kind of over plan my weeks, which leads to me getting even less done. Because as soon as I miss something, I get overwhelmed by how much I'm falling behind. And I get even less done at that point and therefore for me at least it's better to plan as little as possible in the week because then I end up feeling super productive and I am able to stick to the plan and I'm also able to fit even more things into the plan. Alright so now what does this look like? Well I figured I'd show you exactly what it looks like at least for me by showing you how I use Google Calendar to plan my week and then I thought I'd show you also how I use the app that I built in last week's video uh, called Track Advance to kind of track the time and the revenue or what I'll make in that week. But before I start, I just want to mention that I actually have a sponsor for this video, which is pretty cool. And the only reason that I accepted this sponsor is because I believe that the company is a perfect fit for this channel. And I believe that you and the other people who are watching uh, will really be able to get something out of this. And the company is called Algo Expert, and what they do is they teach algorithms using several different programming languages. 
And this is really perfect preparation for a job interview if you're in the field of software engineering and you're looking for a job. And it's also really valuable just in general to know some common algorithms in order to kind of increase the efficiency both of the code that you write and also of how fast you're able to solve different problems. So I would definitely recommend checking this out and you can just go to algoexpert.io slash cal30 and you'll get 30% off. And uh, the link to this is in the description of this video as well. All right, so this is how I plan my week. I found that I usually don't get hungry until like 9 a.m. And if I get up at 6 a.m. and eat straight away, then I'm usually less productive once I get working. So therefore, I always plan three hours of work between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. Now, work can be different things like editing videos, freelance work, personal projects or school. So that is what I do every day from Monday until Friday between 6 a.m. and 9 a.m. Then between 9 a.m. and 10 a.m. I usually eat breakfast and watch YouTube. Between 10 a.m. and 12 p.m. I work again. Between 12 p.m. and 1 p.m. I eat lunch and either sit on the balcony listening to a podcast and tanning or just watch YouTube. At 1 p.m. I head to the gym and the workouts usually take about two hours, so I'm usually done by 3 p.m. Between 3 p.m. and 4 p.m. I shower and eat, and then some days I work between 4 p.m. and 6 p.m. After this, between 6 p.m. and 9 p.m., me and my girlfriend usually just eat and watch TV. Wednesdays I usually schedule the entire day for making videos for this channel. And then on Saturdays, I usually wake up around 7 a.m. and work until 9 a.m. And then I'm usually able to get in another two hours of work between 11 a.m. and 1 p.m. And Sundays I try to keep completely free. I rarely succeed and usually end up working at least in the morning. Now, I'm not really sure how this looks to you. It may look super strict and I kind of feel like it will look super strict. But keep in mind that this is just kind of my plan for the week. And to be honest, things rarely go according to plan. I try not to mind when I don't end up sticking to the plan. The reason that I do plan is to have something to kind of fall back on. If I wake up in the morning and I don't have anything planned for that day, I kind of tend to be less productive. Whereas if I do plan something, then I know that even the day before when I'm going to bed. And so when I wake up the next day, I'm prepared to start working on that thing that I've planned. And now this doesn't really mean that I always wake up and am super productive straight away. Like I still have the days where I just seem to not be able to get anything done. But when I do plan my weeks, this kind of tends to happen less. Now, after having planned my week, I use my app called Track Advance and I create different categories for each color of task that I added to my Google Calendar. So as you can see, I categorize everything related to YouTube videos in the red color. I can then create a category in the app called YouTube and set the color to be red. And hourly rate is zero since I don't get an hourly rate. Then I go through all the tasks in my calendar and create categories based on the colors. Blue is exercise, gray is school, and purple or pinkish is work. For work, I do get an hourly rate, so I will add that to the category. Let's say that I make $10 an hour. Now, after having added all the categories, I can see for each day how many hours I plan to spend working and how much money I will make in that day. I can also see how much money I will make in total for the week by looking at the specific category. If we press one of the categories, we can get a more detailed view of that category with the time spent and money earned. So this is how I use Track Advance to keep track of both how much money I will make in the week and how much time I will spend on different tasks. And in case you want to check the app out, I will add a link to it in the description of this video, uh, both to the Google Play Store and to the Apple App Store. All right, so that's pretty much it for how I plan my week. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you in the next one.